Welcome to another edition of the Color Pigeons and More TV show. The show that covers all aspects of the pigeon hobby, whether it be racing, performing rollers, flying tipplers, fancy show pigeon and more. Interviews with well-known pigeon breeders, breed profiles, loft construction and management, pigeon health and treatment, show coverage, genetics, just to name a few. Watch, learn and enjoy. And now let's go to our host, Danny Joe Humphrey, and see what this show is going to be about. Hello, I'm Danny Joe Humphrey, and today I'm kicking off the seventh show in a series of Color Pigeons and More, the All Breeds Pigeon Show. We're going to have a good show for you today. I'm going to do a, a breed profile today on ice pigeons, which is one of my favorite breeds, and I really think I got some good ones. Uh, also, we're going to be doing a little uh, visit to a gene pool, a gene pool. We're going to go down to South Carolina, we're going to visit with James Turner, and he's going to show us some of his rare color rollers and in progress, so to speak. They're not really rollers, but they're, they're color projects. Should be interesting for you. We've got a couple other good tidbits for you also today, and we're going to show you some new products from a new sponsor that we've acquired. So don't go away. We'll be right back right after this break. We'll kick off show number seven. Hi, this is Jerry Gagne, Foy's Pigeon Supplies, oldest pigeon supply company in the United States. When Danny Joe approached us about being a part of this great project, we were really excited. If you're looking for pigeon supplies, if you're looking for pigeons, I hope you'll give us a call. Foy's Pigeon Supplies, we're on the internet, just type in Foy's. Or if you'd like to call us, it's 1-877-355-7727. Ask about our 204-page all-color catalog. We'd be glad to send it to you. Color Pigeon Loss, featuring 28 breeds of fancy pigeons, high-performance Turner Rollers. We have birds available at all times. Capuchins, Saxon Monks, Saxon Priests, Swiss Crescents, Ice Pigeon, Saints, Frillbacks, Archangels, Starling, Figuritas, Old German Owls, Chinese Owls, Satinettes, Swallows, Saxon Shields, and much, much more. For breed availability, visit www.colorpigeons.com. For purchasing, pricing, and shipping info, call toll-free 1-800-527-0918. Murin Nagel, better known as Dr. Pigeon by his friends, is known by his one-eye cold treatment. It's called one drop, one time. It only takes one drop, it only takes one time. Every breeder needs at least one bottle of one drop, one time to keep in their loft for those nasty eye colds. They're available at Boys Pet Supply, New England Pigeon Supply, and Pro Flight Supply. And remember, the next time you buy pigeon supplies, be sure to include one bottle of one drop, one time. I'm gonna show you some of the color patterns in ice pigeons. A lot of you probably know this, but anyway, we'll share it with everybody. Ice pigeon is a magnificent bird. I refer to them as almost having a porcelain finish. That's what they look like. They're white but they're real light ice, blue, white. They do come in two or three different varieties. I have the muffed and I have the clean leg. The muffed birds are commonly found in white bar, spangled, and barless. The clean legs are usually found in white bar. I do happen to have though a couple of spangled uh, clean leg ice that James Turner created. So they're nice. I also got a special little Another little ice pigeon I want to show you. So let's get right to it. We'll do the uh, we'll do the spangle first. This is a clean leg bird, meaning it doesn't have any feathers on its feet. And it's a spangle, got a spangle wing shield on it. These are not really, really great great quality. They're kind of in the in the making for this particular color in the clean leg swallow. Very beautiful bird, as you can see. Great color, it's unbelievable. Okay, now I'll show you the white bar in the clean leg. These are fairly common. You can find them in different places. You notice a few feathers on this. This is kind of a clean leg in progress. This is just a white bar. Beautiful bird, great color. I just love these birds. First time I ever saw them in a book, I wanted some. That was probably 40 years ago. Okay, now let me show you some of the muff birds. One thing about Ice Pigeon, he is a little flighty. 
if they, after they get used to you, they do a little bit better. But this is the Muff Spangle Bird. You can see the uh, spangling here on him. Beautiful bird. I seem to have better luck with these when I breed the Spangle with a barless. But this is, this is a good bird here, a good breeder. Okay, here's a close-up of the Spangling that you can see. Beautiful bird, beautiful bird. Okay, let me get the next one out of here. How about a barless? Yeah, boys and girls. If I couldn't have but one, I would probably pick the barless, and that's just me. It's a lot cleaner looking. There, the color seems to be a little lighter on, and this is this is a pretty good one here. Really is. This is a barless. Nice. Okay, let me show you these wings up close here so you can see them. They actually are available in black bars also, and then there's one that's a, a heavy spangled, which is called a 4 Ellen. Uh, I've actually had a couple pair of those, and some people want them a whole lot worse than I did, so I let them go. All right. The only thing left now it's a white bar. If I can get him, you got to get in the far corner. White bar is just just like a shade a while ago with the with the uh, clean leg. It's white bar ice. Beautiful bird. All right, let me stick him back in there. Okay, that wraps up the profile on on the ice pigeons. Uh, one of my favorites. I've been I've had some for probably five or six years. Last year is the best season I had raising them. I finally figured out some things that that that. Uh, got them to raise better and lay better and one of the things was simply to put them uh, either put them in a breeding pen which is which is the number one thing or also put them in a loft and don't bother don't go in there don't mess with them feed them all my waters are outside the cage or outside the loft but that's the best way I know to handle these birds uh, they can raise their own young and they do a real good job it's got to keep an eye on them make sure everything's going all right and cool weather they are subject if something spooks them at night to get off the nest that's just because they're flighty so you need to keep a keep a eye on that too but i had a good year last year raised a lot of ice raised a lot of good ones i wouldn't tell you that mine were ex excellent show quality birds in, in the least i wouldn't tell you that but they, they're as far as i'm concerned they're uh they're nice birds and i want to thank one guy uh, that helped me locate them, Paul Lipinski from Minnesota. Paul really is the one that got me some good birds. I had some birds and they weren't hitting on a whole lot, but he got, got me hooked up with some good birds. Okay, that wraps up the ice pigeon. We're going to be right back in a few minutes with a couple little tidbits for you. After that, we're going to go to the gene pool. Not the swimming pool, but the gene pool. We're going to visit James Turner, and he's going to show us some of his unusual colored rollers. So don't go away. We'll be right back. Okay. I was about to forget to show you this neat little bird here. This is a, what I would call an ice roller. As you can see, it's a white bar ice roller. About the only significant thing that it, that it is from a regular clean leg ice is the band around its neck and uh, the color. The size is, it could be a little smaller than it will be. But James created this bird out of the regular ice pigeon, and now he's taking this color bird and he's breeding a spin into him. So one day, soon we hope, takes a long time, we'll have some ice spinning rollers, courtesy of James Turner. I just want to pass that on to you. I know you, that would be interesting. Hi, this is Jerry Gagne, Foy's Pigeon Supplies, oldest pigeon supply company in the United States. When Danny Joe approached us about being a part of this great project, we were really excited. If you're looking for pigeon supplies, if you're looking for pigeons, I hope you'll give us a call. Foy's Pigeon Supplies, we're on the internet, just type in Foy's. Or if you'd like to call us, it's 1-877-355-7727. Ask about our 204-page all-color catalog. We'd be glad to send it to you. Color Pigeon Loss, featuring 28 breeds of fancy pigeons, high-performance Turner Rollers. We have birds available at all times. 
Capuchins, Saxon monks, Saxon priests, Swiss crescents, ice pigeon, saints, frillbacks, archangels, starling, figuritas, old German owls, Chinese owls, satinets, swallows, Saxon shields, and much, much more. For breed availability, visit www.colorpigeons.com. For purchasing, pricing, and shipping info, call toll-free 1-800-527-0918. Okay, I told you I got a new sponsor. Let me tell you who it is. It's C.G. Smith out in California. They've been making bird waters and a lot of stuff for the poultry business since 1933. I think they probably know what they're doing. Anyway, I've used their waters for years. It's the, it's the most dependable. It's economical. And the one I'm going to show you here, the way I've actually designed my lofts around it, so I can actually do water two lofts with just one mortar. This one is the one that I use the most. It's got two holes in the front, as you can see here. And so I put it between a board or between the wire, and then the birds over here could drink and the birds over here could drink. And I put it on the outside of the cage. So the bird has to stick his neck uh, through the cage or through a little cage that I put onto the loft so they can walk out there and get their water. It, kept, it keeps from getting it soiled, and that's very, very important on our pigeons. You know that. It's got a float valve in it. Let me show you here. I actually loosened this thing. I want to show you this float valve in here. Let me tell you something. Recently, they've added the float valve, and they have a wing nut in there. And let me tell you where that comes in handy. That comes in handy if you need to medicate your birds. What you can do is adjust your, your float valve to where it's out of the way. You can put your, you can put your medication in here and it'll just stay in there and the birds can drink it and you just keep adding to it. I've already done this. It works like a charm. So it's a great little thing. This, this uh, particular water here runs about $28. And if you want some, all you got to do is give me a call here at 1-800-527-0918 and then I'll get them to send you one. You have to pay the shipping. It won't be much. If you buy 10 or more, there's no shipping. These things will save you time and it'll save you money. I'm gonna repeat something uh, a parrot breeder told me about two or three years ago. Anything that you could do with your birds or with your hobby, whatever it is, anything that you can do with it that allows you, that allows you the privilege of not spending as much time sometimes as sometimes in the other, the more you enjoy it. An example of that, if you got to go out and water birds every day, it's gonna take a lot of time. That takes away from the enjoyment. Get you some automatic waters. C.G. Smith, been in business since 1933. And we've got three more models we're going to be showing you too in future shows. But this is it. This is a good one. Give us a call here. We'll place the order for you. Your credit card, we'll have them send, them send it right out to you. We hope you like this. Hope you give it a chance. And it screws up to a regular water hose. It's not a low-pressure system. It's a high-pressure system. Connect it right with a water hose if you need to. We use PVC because we got a whole bunch of them. I probably got 20 of these things on, in, in my pigeon area. Saves me a lot of time. We just go by every day, dump the water out, and go back. And I'll show you that in just a minute when I get through talking here, and you'll see how easy it works. But I hope you enjoy that, enjoy telling you about it, and think about it. This is maybe something you can use. Murin Nagel, better known as Dr. Pigeon by his friends, is known by his one eye cold treatment. It's called one drop, one time. It only takes one drop, it only takes one time. Every breeder needs at least one bottle of one drop, one time to keep in their loft for those nasty eye colds. They're available at Boys Pet Supply, New England Pigeon Supply, and Pro Flight Supply. And remember, the next time you buy pigeon supplies, be sure to include one bottle of one drop, one time.